Continuing on Law Weekly today, a review of some of the most interesting discussions we had on the program in the course of year 2017. We focused particularly on issues which continue to challenge the judiciary and of course the prosecution and monitoring of high profile corruption cases. These are issues which will of course be carried over to the new year. So it bears repeating so that as a nation we can find lasting solutions to them. Hello and welcome to this episode of Law Weekly. I am Shola Shiyeli. At the end of 2016, I spoke to a senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Femi Falano, to get his views on how the judiciary fared. I'll play you a clip from that interview. But what's interesting to note is that most of the issues he talked about have been recorded by so many other lawyers as the issues which dogged the judiciary in year 2017. <music> Congestion of cases remains, I mean, congestion of our courts because of numerous cases still remains a major problem. And so you have majority of prison inmates who are awaiting trial whose cases were not heard and determined, uh, and those who have no access to lawyers or senior lawyers, complain of injustice arising from delay uh, in the hearing of their cases. So on the average, I would think the judiciary performed credit creditably well, you know, in the interest of the ruling class or, or the system, the neocolonial system. But in terms of uh, getting redress, or extending justice to the poor and disadvantaged segments of our society, uh, there is a lot of challenge. A former president of the Nigerian Bar also spoke to Law Weekly at the end of 2016. His views are still very relevant even a year after. We have judges arrested. We have judges detained, and now we are having judges prosecuted, including a justice of the Supreme Court, the APS Court. Let me repeat myself for those who have criticized and could keep on criticizing my position. A judge has no reason to be corrupt. A judge has no reason to, to obtain, I mean, to accept bribe, or even to make himself available for bribing. No lawyer who is trained in the best traditions of the bar to encourage, to aid or abet the bribing or the corrupting or the corruption of the judges or of the judiciary. I, Wale Olani people, will never do it. Law is so entertaining. Law is so interesting. Law is so beautiful. You can mesmerize with your advocacy. You read your law, present your case. Let the judges do their work. Why bribing them? But having said that, the majority of Nigerian judges are good. What we are defending is the institution, not the personal or individual judges. So don't let us throw away the baby with the bathwater. That has been my position. Mm -hmm. 